Sharing salvation is the heartbeat of Christ for all nations, to seek and save the lost. When CFAN came to Sierra Leone to proclaim the gospel, two men were definitely not looking to change their lives. One was a Muslim looking for a good concert. The other wanted to see a soccer game, but both were in for something completely different. Rashid was the son of a Muslim imam. He was being groomed to be an Islamic leader. Abraham loved to party and watch sports. He had no plan for his life. Yeah, I was taught the Quran. I learned so many surahs. They call it surahs. There are verses in the Quran. I learned a lot of them. Um, I was there going to mosques, praying my five daily prayers, you know, fasting, and all of that. I was a sinner. I was a drunkard, an alcoholic, and I used to smoke Indian hemp, marijuana. So when I heard about the crusade in 1991, I decided to come on the second day. I said, what is happening in that stadium? We used to go there, enjoy ourselves, watching football match. It's a miracle because, um, as a matter of fact, nobody invited me. You know, I, I just saw the whole city moving to the stadium. The moment I entered the stadium, I, I was drunk. And the time I entered, I sensed some power. As Reinhard Bonnke proclaimed Jesus as Savior and Lord, Rashid and Abraham were convicted. During the time of the altar call, I was now sober. The alcoholic left me, the alcohol left me, no more charging from the marijuana. It was happening, but I just saw myself crying, you know, singing, weeping, you know, I was just crying. I fell, fell to the ground on, 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 on the stairs at the stadium. All of a sudden, he just stopped the message and he, he made an altar call. He led the, us to the, to, the, to, the, to the salvation prayer and how to make that prayer. He, he, he said we must come down to the altar. As a new Christian, Rashid endured the persecution of his father. But God blessed him and he rose to become a top lawyer in Sierra Leone and led his brothers and sisters to new life in Christ. The Lord had a different path for Abraham to travel, from a troublemaking soccer hooligan to a minister of the gospel. I came back, the next day I never took alcohol, I never took marriage, I came and then I, I enjoyed the thing. I said, oh God, this is good, this is good. I kept hearing this, you should go to church, go to church. And I started my own ministry. I called it the New Creation World Outreach Ministries. I am operating as an apostle and I am an evangelist. These two men heard the gospel, made Jesus Christ their savior, and are now winning others to the Lord. And for this, we are thankful for CFAN friends and partners. Hallelujah!